Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm Matt. Today we're doing some guitar upgrade stuff. If you follow this channel, a few weeks ago I did some upgrades to my Epiphone Special 2. It's a Les Paul type guitar with some humbuckers in it. I replaced the humbuckers. It was my first attempt at soldering anything, so it was a miracle that it was a success at all. It worked. I got new humbuckers in the thing, but the tuning pegs on the original guitar are uh, garbage. And I don't know if it's because they came that way or if it's just old. This thing's over 10 years old. It hasn't been well taken care of through its life. And so I'm going to give it a little care today. I went online and I got a set of Grover tuners. I just know the name. I didn't really do a whole lot of research, so I hope they fit. These will hopefully be more reliable than the ones that are on there. The tuners that are currently on the guitar are a mess. They do not stay in tune. They just aren't good. They're loose, they're flimsy, they're bad, they're broken, they're old. I'm going to attempt to take off the tuning pegs that are currently on the guitar and put these guys on. So that's what we're doing this week, is attempting to continue to upgrade a beginner guitar into something maybe a little better. Another thing that I got today while I'm already taking the strings off the guitar, doing a little bit of maintenance, it is some fretboard cleaner and conditioner. Apparently it does something for the wood and it cleans it up and just makes the fretboard a little, uh, just puts a little bit of life back in that wood. Let's see what happens. I really don't know what I'm doing. This is pretty experimental for me. I know this is probably, you know, guitar maintenance 101, but I haven't done a lot of that. If you're also a beginner, come along for the ride. If you know how to do this kind of stuff, then come along and judge me while I do it incorrectly. Yeah, I don't see how it could go that wrong, right? Worst case, the guitar's out of commission for a little bit while I figure out how to put better tuners in. Either way, the fretboard gets cleaned. Can't go that wrong. It's not my main guitar. It's a, you know, it's, uh, it's the other one. It's the one that I play with and do attempted modifications to, so. I don't know, how bad could it be? Let's find out. All right, here we are. I have the fretboard cleaner tuners, various tools scattered around the guitar, and most importantly, coffee. I guess first thing that'll happen is the fretboard cleaner, so let's get these strings off of this guitar. Now this wood is a little, I think, I guess just dried out from, from years of you know, not not being super well taken care of. It's a beginner guitar. It's not a, uh, you know, from a local music shop growing up. And uh, it's nothing nothing special. You know, I like the, the pickups that I put in it. I certainly like more than the ones that it came with. It's something that I'm kind of using as a way to learn how to, how to improve a guitar, how to do stuff. Um, you know, how to do mods because it's something I want to get into. I think something as, a musician and an audio engineer. I want to be able to know how to fix stuff when that comes up. So this is my, you know, practice guitar for that. I'm just taking everything off the guitar. The tuner, or not the tuner, the bridge comes off because it's a Gibson style guitar. So now we have <laughs> the other part of the bridge also comes off. Um, yeah, so this is the guitar without any strings. There's some rattle from the tuning pegs because they're loose and wonky. I'm gonna, I'll show them to you. So see, we're missing even the nut on here. Um, and these guys are just flimsy and just kind of not, not very good. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. Several screws on this, on the back of the guitar here that are just not present. Um, and these are just, you know, I mean, look at that. You know? So, can't can't really get much worse. Strings are gone. Things, you know. She's dusty, but it's okay. So this has a couple things in it. We got a cloth for cleaning stuff. Number one, the fingerboard cleaner and prep. And number two, a deep conditioner. Oh, and another piece of cloth. Let's see, what is that? I think that's the microfiber cloth chemical free with a weave and weight that is ideally suited for the products in this kit. Okay.
Well, we have our polishing cloth, right? Is that what they call this? Yes, because there are two cloths. Clothes? Cloths. Cloths. There are two cloths. Sloths. What do I do with it again? I am bad at remembering directions. Okay. Shake, remove strings, shake bottle well, spray two to three pumps onto a polishing cloth. So we're shaking well. And what is it? Two to three pumps onto here. Light pressure evenly over entire fingerboard and frets. Fingerboard, okay. Okay, now. I don't know. That didn't feel like enough cleaner to me. Oh, it might be a few too many, but you know. Oh, now. <coughs> Ooh, got it. It's, uh, it's a strong one. getting some of that gunk out you know just the stuff that develops from your fingers over time probably mostly up in these first couple frets more than anywhere is there a um, I mean, for those of you who would know is there like a method to the way to do this like circles is better or if it's just up and down side to side so I mean we had a little bit of you know, the dirt that was in there. I might have inhaled a little bit of chemical air. It's okay, I'll live. I should live, right? Don't get it in my eyes, don't swallow it. I don't, I think I'm okay. Microfine fret polishing cloth. That's the little guy here. Just wrap cloth around the tip of your finger. Okay. So we do this. I guess this is almost like a fine sandpaper, so it'll get off any... It'll clean the frets themselves, not the fret board. I think this is doing something. This thing is getting pretty... This was just uh, plain, like, light gray. I might be tearing it up a little more than I'm supposed to. There's really some, like almost like under the fret, kind of dirt. It's like, like, you know, like dirt under your fingernails, kind of, you know? I, I'm really curious what this does, if I notice, if I notice like a, a real change in playability here. Now, the deep conditioner, it's a premium fingerboard oil. Ooh, very fancy replenishes your fingerboard with a natural with natural protective oils conditioning the wood and bringing out its rich dark look use only on unfinished fretboards i think that's this this seems unfinished so it's all guesswork here shake bottle well I'd consider that well shook invert bottle Press the dabomatic applicator against fretboard, dabbing, dabbing it to start the flow of oil. Do not squeeze. It's in all caps. Do not squeeze. Once deep conditioner fully penetrates applicator, continue applying oil by dabbing applicator. Wait. What? Oh, there's like a little fuzzy nub on here. A little fuzzy nub. That was not made clear in any of the paperwork. Dunlop. Just tell me what I'm getting here. Okay, so I gotta invert it so that it soaks into this little cloth, I guess. Oh, it, now it's wet. Okay. Can I dab it all over? Am I doing like too much or am I not doing enough or what's the deal here? I'm just tapping it all over. It's like a wet miss. 
See, okay, it says to dab it onto the entire fretboard. So I'm just getting the fretboard all wet with chemicals. Seems safe. Do this on the table I eat off of. That seems to be enough of that. So the f fingerboard is covered. Once it's been applied to the entire fretboard, use a clean cloth such as this to work it in to finish wipe away all excess oil so I guess I'm just gonna kind of lightly work it in and I'm barely applying any pressure on this um, just gently Kind of going across, almost like I'm just uh, taking taking some of the extra oil off the top here. I'll let it sit for another few minutes. The wood looks a little darker, for sure. Helped bring out the rich, dark look, according to the paperwork. Um, which I agree with. I think it has done that. Um, it looks really... I don't know. It looks darker. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. And then we'll come back and get, get working on the tuners once this feels a little drier. The fretboard maintenance is taken care of somewhat. And now it's time to figure out if I can replace tuners without completely destroying a guitar. So step one is going to be removing the old ones. So this Epiphone has some screws in the back here. It's got two screws per tuner. There's a little washer in there on the other side. We'll see what's up with that when it's time. Just the whole casing for these old ones is like wobbly. And I guess that's because I took the thing out, but I don't know. I've tried tightening these screws before. It didn't really seem to help. So I just opted for new ones rather than trying to figure out how, how to tighten up what's already there. Um, also, one of these is just missing the washer piece entire this one see this one just came out this one's a little it's it's a mess this thing just fell apart on its way out um it had nothing on the other side that it was even really attached to so as you may be able to see the one hole is just entirely missing the metal piece it was supposed to be in there now i'm sure that was not in the manufacturing that was something that happened along the way in its lifespan. So now we are cracking open the Grover tuners and we're gonna hope that they have some kind of instruction. I've taken one out, which I guess based on how it's set up would be the this this one. Please fit. Okay. Well about the big hole. yeah okay so it doesn't fit I was worried this might happen I say this is probably my own fault for not researching but it doesn't fit I'm gonna have to drill something I tell you the whole size on here. I'm a dummy. I'm just a straight up dummy. That's what it is. 14.1, this is 18.1. I'm not sure what these numbers mean, which is definitely why I ran into the trouble that I'm running into. So this has very quickly become a larger project than I expected. As I learned with a million other things here, failure is a lesson and this uh, certainly is one. So, you know, it's, uh, I just need to make, make them fit. And so what we're going to do over time, I'm not sure if it's going to happen this week or next week or a month from now, we're going to find a drill bit that fits our Les Paul type guitar. And we're going to make holes that fit our tuners. God damn it. We're going to turn this into something. So we are going to learn from this. And by we, I mean me. This is uh, gonna become somewhat of a series, I guess, because this sure as hell didn't work. 
But the guitar is cleaner, and it's a little more taken care of, and yet it is even further from playable, because I did not check measurements, and I'll take responsibility for that. That's my own fault. Could have looked it up, thought about looking it up, and I was just like, nah, let's just get the they're the they're the only tuners that will come Amazon Prime. So read the paperwork, read the manuals, look up the sizes of things when you're supposed to because it's gotten me into an issue today and I'm gonna learn from that and we're gonna get this right eventually. You don't get to see the new tuners today, but if you're modding one of these guitars, something to look out for. If you're modding any guitar, replacing any part, check the measurements, because I didn't and I goofed. If you like this video, hit the like button to support my ventures into guitar maintenance and modification. And if you want to see where this goes, hit that subscribe button. Or if you want to see any of my other videos where I go through gear or put these pickups in or whatever, make some beats, things like that, hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell if you want to see when the videos come out. And if you don't feel like doing that, they come out every Monday anyway. So just hit subscribe, check back. We're going to make this thing work. I promise you that. And thanks for watching. That's, uh, I'm going to call it for this week because I am defeated. And I don't have a drill, so I can't do anything about it today. Um, all right. Thanks for watching.